products this month, which is June's Simply Earth Essential Oil Box In. And so I thought I would make a couple recipes with y'all and show you what was in it this month. They actually have a new oil called Timber, which is a mix of cypress, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, Peru balsam, and mandarin essential oils. Oh, I haven't opened this one yet. Let's see how it smells. It smells heavenly. Like, y'all know my favorite smell is uh, inside Whole Foods. This is my, I think it's the patchouli in things. Anyway, I love anything kind of woodsy outdoors and just with that patchouli mixed in. So that's a good one. That's worth anyway. Um, so let's talk about what's in the box outside of that. You also have, let me take all these out while we're chit chatting about them. So I already mentioned timber. You also have a lavender. They're, I mean, all their essential oils have been amazing. They have really good smell, like scent. It doesn't feel smake. They'll smake. Smell fake. Uh, they're all real essential oils. These girls are like really doing a good job with them. You also have your 13% to end human trafficking this month is the cardamom. Mm, Y'all. I was excited about this one. And it smells so good. It's in India. It's a sweet bals and balsamic aroma. Y'all, it smells so good. That cardamom smells so good. And I thought this was so cute, especially for a bunch of little boys and being... Lo and behold, middle of summer, Elliot's fallen off of everything we own anyway. So this one is Bumps and Boo Boos. It is, don't judge me because I'm not gonna say this right, Hilchrissa, hmm, lavender, tea tree, and lemon. Y'all know I can't pronounce stuff. It smells really good. It smells, I get the tea tree in it. I get a lot of tea tree, but it's so healing. My mom used to slather tea tree on everything when I was a kid because it was so good at healing and disinfecting bumps and bruises and wounds. It's great if you have any like foot issues, put it there. I actually used tea tree, which, fun story, years ago I got a ringworm teaching students, I know, kids, what do you expect? But uh, I got a ringworm. I've been on prescribed medication twice did not get rid of it, and I'm gonna sound like some crazy woman right now, but what finally got rid of the ringworm is that every night I would like soak a cotton ball with tea tree oil and put it on the spot, and that finally killed it. So, I mean, it's worth a shot testing this one out. So let's get through and look at the recipe cards for this month. So you have Sleek and Smooth Shaving Butter, and that is a couple of your oils that come in the, um, the big blue box that I, the bonus box. I'm like losing words today. So anyway, in this, you would use your solid coconut oil from that and your fractionated coconut oil, which is gonna be a uh, liquid coconut oil and your timber essential oil. I'll make those at another, I'll make that one another time. That's not what I'm doing today. A skin healing gel, which would be two ounces of aloe vera. Did I put that on here? No, oh, I mixed it up. Okay, so that's not the one I put here. I'll tell you all about that one in a second. So anyway. You also have a burn salve, which is beeswax, which comes in your bonus box. The fractionated coconut oil, again, lavender and the bumps and boo-boos, and you would need to put that in a small container, which I need to make soon because I've already burned myself on the grill, but I'm not making that one on camera today. That'll be something I make later on. Anyway, so the four I'm making, which I feel very flashy, like I've got some distance, I feel kind of crazy today. So the four I'm making today is the Skin Healing Gel, which is the aloe vera, bumps and boo-boos, and coconut oil. I'm gonna make the Digest Help Roll-On. We're fixing to go camping. This will be great for little boys. No Stress Blend, which, where do I have that going? You can tell I've taken a photo, I'm about to put that in there. The No Stress Blend, which I'm about to diffuse and I'll let you know how it smells. I'm really thinking about making this a roll-on as well, just because I think it smells so good. And then, this is another one of those words that are, I'm not that great at. Calendula Solar Infused Oil. I'm so excited. This is gonna be good. All right, who's ready? Okay, so let's start off with the No Stress Blend, and that is just, where's my cardamom? That's one drop of cardamom, which is always hard to do. I always find uh, these little oil containers. Well, it has to do with the viscosity of the oil. And cardamom is apparently has a lot of viscosity because it moves. Um, 
three drops of lavender. Mama. Oh, I got that one good. Harrison, hold on, Mama's doing this. Oh, I want to do I am filming my video about these oils. You want to watch it later? Yeah. Children. Okay. And then one drop of timber, which we know timber is not just timber, it's a mix. So you're actually getting a bunch of essential oils mixed into this. And I am going to let that diffuse while I do the rest of this just so I can smell it. Tell y'all how good it smells because like I said, I think this is going to be a good roll on one, especially with our current living situation. Everybody being all locked up all the time. Okay. Oh, I'm going to start to tell y'all. Stickers, as always, to go on top of everything. So let's first do, would be the ECS. Let's do the digest help roll on. And so I just need my roll on bottle, which I really love. And I bought roll ons from uh, Amazon before. They can be kind of difficult to open. Woo. The ones from Simply Earth, I've not had any trouble with. They've been really good at opening and putting them back on and changing them out. If you do get some that are hard to open, there's a tool you can use that I've gotten off Amazon to open these. Ignore the sound of children in the background because they're alive and well and everywhere. So that just helped roll on. What I like to do is first put my essential oils yeah. in. Harrison, don't talk. And then I'll put the oil in so I don't run out of room. So let's see. Lavender. How many drops? Three. And then three cardamom. How y'all like me doing this instead of just talking about it? I know it takes a little bit longer. Whoop. Okay. And then we shall put fractionated coconut oil. And the good thing about these is they come in these little tops, so it's not going to cause you too much trouble to try to get it in there. Which I always try to be really careful about because it's greasy. I don't like cleaning up coconut oil. It feels like it never totally goes away. All right, so close that up. Pop my little thing back on. Sitting here telling y'all how easy it is, and now I can't get it shut because I'm afraid I'm gonna spill it. And then screw the cap on tight. And we will see how that all smells rolled in together. I'm not putting on my abdomen right now because alas, y'all don't want to see me lift my shirt up, my mama shirt. Oh, it's always hard to get balls rolling. Mm. Smells really good. Smells good, good, good. I like the cardamom in that. Next up, you're gonna make the skin healing gel. And with that, you use the aloe vera that came in your box this month. And that is, it says it calls for two ounces. This is a two ounce container. Ooh, 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 come on. In your two ounce container of that. 20 drops of bumps and boo-boos. And a half a teaspoon of coconut oil, so hardly any. Not much coconut oil in that. And I'm not even gonna measure it out, because you just won't gauge it. And then, let me grab something. I think that'll be easiest to mix up with a toothpick. That'll probably be the best way to go about doing this one. This is, if you're wondering, the clear aloe vera. This is not your fake um, cheapo summer aloe vera. I know y'all know what I'm talking about, where it's like dyed green and funky. So let's get all that mixed up good. This will probably be really good on some sunburns because y'all know that's coming. These little boys live outside. You already ate today. Let's test it. It feels good. It smells good. I think we're going to get a lot of use out of it. So, another re recipe checked off. Uh -oh. I'm always putting stuff in here on. Oh, well. I'll mess with that later. So then last, but not least, the calendula, it's calendula, right? Y'all tell me if I'm wrong on this, because you know, 
I'm not the best. Anyway, so you put your one ounce, which I think that's what this is. Yep, it's not one ounce, it's 0 0.1 ounce of dried calendula flowers, which you can always make your own guys. It's just marigold. My dad always had these outside the garden. And then you put three fourths of a cup of avocado or other carrier oil. Let me get a jar. All right, remember to throw out. I'm going to put, sorry for chewing gum, my, my flowers in the bottom. Ooh, they smell so good. Mm, dried flowers. Okay. So, flowers are in the bottom of the jar. Put that off to the side. And I need to do three fourths of a cup of avocado or other carrier. That's what I want to use. Do I have, I have almond? Let's go with almond today. Is it open? Cross your fingers. Okay, let's see. I might change what I'm doing. What do you use this one for? On burns, smelling wounds, and insect bites. We're going with the olive oil, folks. I might do half and half. You know what? Let's do half almond, half olive oil. And three fourths of a cup. Mama, I saw a baby. A little bit. You over here chit chatting on camera. Mama, I'm going to do half. So we're going to do half almonds. I'll get you a snack in a minute. Half almond, half olive oil. We are making a calendula oil that's good for burns. Three four, oh, three fourths. That is one fourth to, we need to come up here. Hey mama, hey mama, hey mama. Three fourths. Hey mama, hey mama, ask me chat. The what? Ask me chat. Hey mama, hey mama, I ask me Can I smell it? Does it smell good? He's fat. What do you expect? Mama. What? It's, it's mommy. I know. Hey, Mama. Okay, hold on. You want to come say hey? Hey. Hey, like that. Come here. So, what else do I have to talk about? Let's do this. Smell this. Tell me what you think. Does it smell good? You want to put it on your tummy? It's supposed to help your tummy feel better. You want to put it on your tummy? No, you're wary of me today? Yeah, I am. Do you want to try my aloe vera? It makes your skin feel good. Let's see. Watch. Here, watch. Give me a hand. Ooh. Smell it. Does it smell good? Yeah. Okay, good job. All right, go watch your show. We'll go out and play with your turtle in a minute. All right, guys, so that is a couple of recipes and a crazy bad child out of this month's Simply Earth Essential Oil Recipe Box. Let me see if I missed anything on the back of these. So, before I leave to make sure I hit it all up. Mm -mm -mm. So, this month's theme was like bumps and boo-boos and natural healing. Uh, what am I missing? This is not my day, guys. Okay, what's in your box? My brain is not working. So next month, that's this month's box. Next month, if you go ahead and sign up and be in the know. So the theme is salon in a box. So you'll get some essential oils. I'm not even gonna tell you what those are. You can go look. Um, recipes for a cuticle oil, natural shampoo, which I think would be so cool. A conditioner, dry shampoo, a roll-on and diffuser recipes. You'll get natural shampoo base and conditioner base. But I think next month will be super, super cool too. This month, I'm gonna get a ton of use out of because once Elliot gets up from his nap, I'm slapping some of this aloe vera on all his boo-boos because the boy has boo-boos. But, so that's that. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, either on YouTube or on the blog. You can find me with loud children at LA Bride on YouTube. I might be Louisiana Bride on YouTube, but Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and everywhere else, Twitter at LA Broad. So see y'all later.